Hello everyone. So um, I'm gonna quickly solve these two questions which were asked today's lead code contest string based questions. So part one is pretty straightforward. So what is happening is you are given a word and a letter special of uh, if it is appears both lowercase and uppercase. Basically, so what is happening? If any character which is uh, in lowercase as well as uppercase available in the string, then that is called a uh, special character. So you can see in this example here we have a right so we have a small a as well as capital a both type of characters we have so we will give uh, uh, like one is this this a okay so a and capital a so one special character similarly we have b and capital b so there is another special character so we have total two now we have a small c as well as capital c so we have total three special characters so what we're gonna do here is we will make two uh, uh, integer variable of 26 size and one count so what I'm going to do is I'm taking the diff here so I'm traversing through the string and uh, basically then I'm getting the difference of the ASCII values so why I'm doing this at uh, for int x I am uh, caret i minus a small a so in case of it is a small character then I am taking the diff value in the x and in case of uh, if it is a uh, upper character in that case i am taking the value in integer y so for example if we have if here it is occurring like d then its value in y what it would be it would be basically d minus a okay so d minus a what it would be d minus a will be like uh, 4 minus uh, g 4 minus 1 basically so you can say uh, a like this okay caps lock a so in this case what is happening we will get the diff as 0 1 2 a b c d 4 okay so this is one example so then what will happen we will check if this x is basically uh, 20 within these uh, 26 values 0 to 25 then only we can say that yeah x was a small character if y also greater than 0 and less than 20 less than or equal to 25 then only we can say that yeah this is uh, under the alphabetical stuff of uh, uh, capital characters okay so finally what we are doing is basically we are uh, check we are increasing the count so you can see here if big x is greater than 0 okay and small x is just occurred that means we got both of them okay so i am increasing count plus plus so i am putting this small x equal to 0 because if there are duplicate let's say in this example there are duplicate a's right so we have to count only once so that is why i am checking this we just cannot have for example let's say uh, let me take one example let's say there is something like a and capital a and then a small a so it's uh, the total number of special character here is only one it is not two because we have even this a is occurring again but here this value should small x should be zero because we just cannot increase for the same values okay so finally what will we are basically increasing the count here now come to this part in this part if uh, this is for the capital uh, characters so in this case of uh, capital character we are checking that if a small y means a small character is already occurred and this is coming very first time this uh, bigger character capital character then only i am increasing count plus plus if this was greater than zero that means it is coming duplicate so we should not increase the count and here we are basically uh, increasing the count in those two arrays for any character we have to uh, increase so finally i am returning the count so uh, this already i have solved so we can again run it for your confirmation yeah then we have part two which is uh, uh, a bit of uh, kind of 
but difficult than this so let me go to contest and uh, this contest this is the second question so let me open it yeah so here it's uh, you can see bit properly here what is happening so uh, it is clearly said you are given a word a letter c is called special if it appears both in lower case and upper case same like part one and every lower case occurrence of c appears before the first upper case so basically what is happening so every lower case should occur first then its corresponding capital case so in this example you can say in this example what is happening basically these are a small a okay then uh, the capital letter coming after the small a so throughout it similarly for b as well first the small characters coming then capital characters coming similarly for c so all of them are special characters so we are getting here answer as three now come to second thing here you can say all are small characters there is no cap corresponding capital character so we just cannot say that uh, these guys are uh, any way special character because corresponding upper character is not there now third uh, third uh, part is uh, important we have to pay attention a bit so what is happening in third example in this example basically oh just a second yeah you can see here capital a is occurring before the small a okay so this is not a special character similarly let's take an example of b even though this small b is occurring before this capital b but at the end you can say there is a last b which is a small b and there is a character which is capital b which is occurred before the small b so this also invalidated okay and similarly for a as well the capital a is occurred first and uh, smaller a occurred later so this also not a character now c come to the c so c has only one character capital character but it doesn't have the corresponding small character so there is not a single character which is special okay so let me quickly explain what i'm doing here is again i am creating two uh, boolean array small and big to park the to mention whether this is occurred or not and then i am also creating one hash set okay this hash set is of integers now i'll tell you what i will do with this so see here i'm traversing through the string and i'm again getting the ascii difference of both means the the character might be uh, a capital letter or as well as a small letter we don't know that is why i have taken the ascii difference of x and y both so in case if it was a small character then x would have a valid value which would be between 0 and 25 if y is if the character is a uh, upper character then y would be having a valid value valid what i mean to say is uh, between 0 and 25 so now next time what i am doing i am checking first of all whether if it is a so if let's say it is a small character then x would be falling here in this condition okay then what will happen if big x basically if this character i mean the corresponding upper character is already occurred in this one big x that what i what i will do is i'm adding this as a restricted okay because this will not be of our interest this cannot become a special character that is why i'm keeping track so I'm putting that bad, that difference x value to the restricted set and then I'm going ahead I'm making the small x means the small occurrence true and similarly I'm going again for capital letter if let's say y is a valid capital letter then this if, if condition would be true and I'm, I'm making the uh, appearance of this capital letter in big boolean array as true now after doing all this what is our intuition is that any character just a second let me remove this huh. so our intuition is that any character which is uh, uh, occurred in small i as well as big i but it is not available in the restricted contents okay so it should not be available in the restricted set 
here is our restricted set because in restricted set we have put all those characters which were actually occurred their corresponding capital letters were occurred before the small letters so this so what we are doing is we are checking uh, in the small i and big i i mean so small uh, boolean array and uh, big boolean array that if any character which is available in both of them but it is not in the restricted list so those would be our special character so in that condition i am increasing the count so finally i am returning the count so let uh, it's already i have run but anyway it should be run yeah so this is how you can do this it's pretty simple straightforward so thank you for watching the video